Ah, I hate Eggman. Where's this? Trying to show me something. Hey there, everybody! The Story Rex here, and welcome to part six of Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. We are following the Ball of Light into the Lost World. Uh, no, I'm not referring to Jurassic Park, the, 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 to the sequel to Jurassic Park. This is actually a stage called Lost World, and now we're going into some ancient ruins. As I mentioned in the previous part, I'm, at least I hope I did, because I don't remember if I did or not, and I don't feel like reviewing my old videos. Um, the Sonic team was... they got a lot of influence by going to um, Central America and look, going, observing some mine ruins and whatnot. So they drew a lot of inspiration from that trip to, or in order to actually create the Mystic Ruins and Lost World, as you see right here. What you want to do is hit the switch right here to raise the water level, then ride on that water snake. It's not a real snake; it's a stone snake. There are three actuators that you will have to hit in order to open up a certain the door in order for you to proceed. One of the actuators is actually right there. Just stomp on that and you can go up here and you'll have to raise the water level three times. Uh, don't screw up like I did and oh uh, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we don't want to hit that one, by the way. We want to hit... Or did I already hit that one? Actually, yes, I did hit that one already. So, yay, we're gonna hit... We're heading to the second actuator now. It's just taking a little bit because the snake is kind of slow. Oh, no, we haven't hit the sec... We haven't hit gone to the second actuator yet because we haven't hit the second switch yet to raise the water level again. There we go! Now we just have to wait on the snake again. Yay. This is kind of time consuming. They're not there's not really much you can do about it unless you actually do it all if unless you do it right on the very first try. Well there's the second actuator. One more to go, which means we have to raise the water level one more time. So let's get to it. Just be careful not to hit the spikes, otherwise you'll lose your rings. Be careful not to fall off the platforms, because if you do fall, fall off the platforms at this point, you are most likely to drown. Um, the, if you can see those lights that are right there... Actually, I don't think the lights point to anything. Never mind. I think I may have... Yeah, actually, yeah, the lights do point to some. Those little... Those lights that come from the ceilings... From the ceiling, they actually help point out the way of the actuators that you have to hit, and... There you go. Uh, right now we're waiting on the snake again, so let's embrace the fact that we have to wait on such a slow ride to get to where we need to go. Let's just embrace that right for a moment. Yay, let's just embrace it. Doesn't that sound like fun? We're almost at the door, so we just hop off here and we continue. Uh, keep on running, running, running. Ooh, we're outside. This is all underneath that pyramid? That is crazy. Well, then again, there was a episode of the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series where there was an actual um, prehistoric world underneath the... in the Earth's... in the center of the Earth. Oh, well, anyway, uh, back on plot. 
let's see. Right here, what you need to do is the of course the room is dark. What you need to do is align those mirrors to where the light bounces off the other mirrors that are off in the distance. That will light the path for you to go forward. You don't have to do that, but if you're not familiar with the level, you will probably need to do that so you don't die. It is possible to get through without having to light the mirrors, but I would not recommend it. I probably could have done it, but I didn't want to take the chance of messing up because I do remember dying in this stage, I just don't remember where. So let's embrace the fact that once again I will be dying. It sucks, but you know, dying, you know, death is a part of life. So let's just embrace that fact. Slipping and sliding down a water slide. Oh yes. Ooh, this looks like a bunch of fun. Ooh, going down a whoa, going down a, a waterfall, bouncing on some springs, and zooming in back into a temple again. And Indiana Jones style, we are trying to outrun a boulder. According to what I've read on, um. From what I've read on the internet, they wanted to add in a particular scene in Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis where Sonic is being chased by a boulder. And due to the limitations of the Sega Genesis, they could not add that in. Of course, it would be realized in Sonic Adventure as you're seeing right now. Now, this room is not its not too difficult, If, but what you want to do is there are, there are some switches in the room, eventually I get to one, there's one, and what you want to do is you want to hit the switch to light up, to line those panels together, they'll light up and they'll, you'll be able to jump on the panels and walk on the wall. Just jump off right here, hit the switch, and let us go, 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 oh, and try not to do that, by the way. What you want to do is you want to try to stay at the center of the switch as I mean at the center of this panels as much as possible so that way you do not fall. And what am I doing here? I am looking for a switch. Looks like uh, once again I really do apologize for some of the simple mistakes that I do in this entire playthrough. It's just that as I mentioned before I. I mean, it's been a while since I played Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. I will not lie, I am not- oh, there's a Switch. Yay. I will not lie, I'm not an expert at this game. I mean, I mean I've mean, i played the game before, that, don't get me wrong. I have played the game before, I've played it on the Dreamcast, I have played it on the GameCube. But I'm not an expert, so... I will once again recommend that if you want to see a fantastic playthrough of this game, just go to Clement J642's channel. He is amazing at this game, and his commentary for this game is much better than mine. So why do I keep re recommending that you go to his channel before in this entire playthrough? Why do I keep recommending that? I keep doing it because he is an amazing LPer. He's he does amazing commentary in his videos. That's why I do it. I mean, he's been doing it a lot longer than I have, and I will I'm the first one to admit that, you know, I know that this LP isn't too good, but I'm learning. I'm I mean, I have people have to start somewhere when they do LPs. That's one of the things. People have to start somewhere. And well, I started with my Super Mario RPG playthrough, which I'm still recording as we speak. Um, and I'm I'm working on this particular LP as a side project. Okay, we go through the... Oh, we have to go through here now, and watch out, be careful not to get burned. And we hit the switch again, and, well, just... Follow the lighted panels. Just follow them. They will take us where we need to go. It's incredible. 
It's amazing. It's Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. I will say that Part 7 will be the final part of the Sonic the Hedgehog playthrough for this game. I'm almost done with it, which means I need to record some more content soon. Oh, this shield, it, this lightning shield is going to be a little bit of a hindrance, but not too much. You just have to jump at the right moment because that particular shield, of course, attracts rings. So, what do you know? Yes. We're at the end of the level, so we get to see some more plot suit here in just a second. So, get ready because more plot is coming. Yeah, not bad. Wow, what's this? A mural! What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. Sonic is on drugs. No, he's not. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! So Eggman is just now arriving in the area? Wow, he's pretty slow. Or maybe he has something else to do. Right now, we're heading to the, towards those flashing lights, and that is Dr. Eggman's base in the Mystic Ruins. So, the, of course, Eggman currently is the plot, so we are following the plot. So let's go. Uh, right now, my the video is almost over. So, if you like the video, I would please feel free to like the video on YouTube. Ooh, that is a Silver Sonic or Mecha Sonic. Yay! <laughs> um, if you like the my YouTube channel, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ooh, look, it's Metal Sonic. <laughs> um, if you can offer any kind of constructive criticism, please feel free to leave leave me a comment, and I will read them and I will get back to the, your comments as soon as possible. We don't go down here. We go up here. <laughs> Alrighty, um, to get into the next area, we don't go over there, and we don't go over there because that door doesn't open. Now we have to hit th these lights here until we can get all six of these little things lit up and go into our last area, and with that done, eventually when it's done, and yep, yeah, there we go. 
And I will see you all in the final part. Take care, everybody. Ciao for now. Bye.